Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and this is a tarot, rego, tarot reading for Virgos for September. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate Virgos, it's your birthdays. Uh, so have a great month, have a great time, have a great birthday, celebrate yourself. And remember, uh, everybody's birthday is like a new year and make sure on the day of your birthday, you make your all the wishes you desire. Um, next, I would like to thank you all for being with me, watching me. And, and just um, would like to say well done to everyone because we had very tough September, uh, um, August. Many zodiacs, many people had very tough. Uh, so now the planets a little bit ease up on us so let's hope for the best <clears throat> and another little tip that from 10th of September till 2nd of October uh, we're gonna have a retro Mercury so in retro Mercury um, I would not advise to um, buy any big expensive items like a car, like a house, big appliances for the house. <clears throat> of course, if you must, then keep a receipt because you might um, be disappointed or regret it or that's not going to function properly. And <clears throat> also, that's, that time is not going to be good for start something new, begin something new, I don't know, new open new business, open something completely new that's not that's gonna of course if you decide to do it it's just a very big chance that it's gonna have very slow very st uh, slow start uh, and um, I would even have two two three days before 10 already that's not mm, already don't try not to buy anything big and two or three days after 2nd of October. So <clears throat> it's a very small gap <laughs> for your big buys if you decide to. Uh, but this time it's very good to come back and finish uh, unfinished business, unfinished uh, things uh, in your life. Uh, get, um, get tidy with your I don't know, paperwork, finances. So, Virgos, now we're going to start a tarot reading with the tarot rider white. Three cards from here for you, Virgos, what the universe brings us. Um, I hope you're going to have a great month, great birthdays, like I say. We'll see. First card. And first card is high rank, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is card of tradition. So uh, everything you're going to do is going to be in traditional way. Um, this is card of knowledge. Maybe you will decide to uh, go to university and get further education. Um, <clears throat> this is also card of marriage. So maybe you planning, uh, maybe you gonna have a wedding, a wedding or christening, a funeral as well, unfortunately. But this is everything that's uh, traditionally accepted um, and possibly happening in the church. Um, <clears throat> uh, this also um, card would say that you might. Find your teacher, your guru, your soul guru, let's say, um, <clears throat> that you're gonna follow. Uh, this card will say that look for, uh, look or um, go your way. Uh, but it's most likely a traditional way because um, this card say that I oh, don't like anything new, any major changes um, this 
this is quite a conservative card. <clears throat> so let's see one more card. Oh, what happened? Um, what else? And here we have Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles saying that uh, money-wise you're going to be great, mm, have no issues. Uh, <clears throat> this card also saying that you're going to be working quite hard, going to be focused on your work, uh, going to try to perfect what you do. Uh, gonna be very enthusiastic about it. Um, also, also, this card say that you might want to uh, get a higher qualification in your work. You want to become a master. Maybe you want to become a. Maybe you will become that guru. Maybe you will become that teacher. That gonna uh, lead people. <clears throat> And uh, this card also saying that uh, do do the job that you love, and it will pay off. So this is a very good card, especially financially. Plus, if you do something you love, it doesn't it doesn't feel like um, like work. And you got rewarded for that as well. That's a double bonus. And next card we're going to have. Uh, it's Queen of Swords. And Queen of Swords is most likely uh, a person. Uh, maybe it's the person that you're going to seek help from. Professional, uh, professional help. Because this uh, person is... Highly get educated, and it could be also a teacher. Uh, could be teacher, could be <clears throat> lawyer, could be an accountant. Uh, someone is quite um, with a sharp mind, so you might need seek this person's help. Uh, could be an accountant, so you might. Um, use your guidance uh, also this card would say that is card of justice as uh, the same as the hierophant so i uh, will see what it's all about with dark mansion tarot And we have seven pentacles. Another pentacles. Um, <clears throat> but this card will say uh, that you might need to wait for your rewards. Um, <clears throat> you're working hard, you're very focused. Uh, but rewards you might need to wait for, like a gardener waiting for uh, for the flowers or the produce to grow. And but the main the main message for this card is don't give up, don't stop. You will be definitely rewarded, maybe not as soon as you hoped or wished for. But it will definitely bring the rewards. Oh, next. Six of Wands. Look at this. Great card. So, uh, Virgos, maybe, maybe you have weddings uh, ahead. Uh, but this is card. Card of Celebration. Uh, card of Triumph. <clears throat> Uh, and people supporting you, people cheering for you, people are happy for you. And celebrations, uh, yes, maybe it's not wedding, but definitely celebrations because this is your, uh, it's your birthdays. So you definitely should celebrate. 
And um, but yes, like I said, this is card of uh, triumph of uh, luck of uh, wishes come true or acceptance of people gonna support you uh, of victory of achievements. Uh, you're gonna be on the <clears throat> on the horse. <laughs> Very great cards. And the full new beginning. Uh, this is a high rank card, and this card say, saying uh, you might start a new life, uh, start completely new. Mm, this card also saying that you might go traveling, you might go on a vacation. Uh, or new job, new beginning, uh, something absolutely start, um, or this job could be um, in IT. Mm, your new job can be yeah with IT industry, and you have here no fear, no fear, go for it. New chapter of your life, start from zero. That's great. And next deck we're going to use, <clears throat> Wheel of the Year. And we'll see. And here we are, we're having Ace of Cups. Great, uh, great card. Mm, you have the full new beginning, and this card is a uh, new chance, a uh, new chance, new inspiration. This is uh, the wishes come true. This is a card of um, overwhelming of love, overwhelming of emotions. This is abundance from the universe. Look, this is the full cup. Uh, cup is full of all all goodnesses uh, that you can just wish for. This is like a grail cup of Christ. Um, many people hunt for it for centuries, and you are given it um, in form of ace of uh, cups. Uh, so, yeah, don't miss it. Grab it. Um, if you are a person who work in art, this is new inspiration. It's like new, um, new beginning. So grab it. Uh, Aces doesn't last long, and they are moving on uh, fast to somebody else. So this is your birthdays. You should celebrate. You shouldn't fear. Start something from the beginning, and. A universe giving you present um, in form of ace of cups of new chances is cha um, basically is chance to start from zero. <clears throat> King of Wands. King of Wands. You might have uh, this person in your life that. Um, Maybe will help you. <clears throat> maybe if you're single, maybe this is the person you're gonna celebrate with or getting married to. Um, so this per this person will be in your life around that in in September. Or oh, this is the person. It's your new chance. It's your new new beginning you meet the person uh, maybe he is maybe this is the person that your destiny one more card from here uh, 
Oh, that's a great reading so far. You have a star. As a high rank card, yes, your wishes come through. Maybe, maybe it's the person that you um, liked for a long time and you wanted uh, that this person pay attention uh, to you or ask you out. And maybe finally your dreams come through. He will, uh, he will pay attention. Uh, but this card, yes, this is card of uh, dreams come through, wishes come through. Um, this is card of also um, believing in yourself. Uh, so very nice, very nice so far. So next we're gonna use the light seer tarot. <clears throat> Three cards from here. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Eight of Swords. Something, uh, something you're gonna be scared of. Maybe you're gonna be scared of this new beginning. Uh, something um, you. Something gonna be bothering in you, sitting in, on your mind. Uh, you would want to. Isolate yourself, but here This is a bit different to uh, classical tarot Classical deck here the person see mm, Not how it is Because here the, if you look at this card person looks in the mirror and she see completely different mm, What it is in her reality Something made you think that. Uh, something on your mind that doesn't, that you don't want to see how it is. Let's see. But it's only in your power to to come out of this, to take these bandages out of and uh, from your hands. Uh, untie your eyes, open your eyes. It's only in your power. You, only you, nobody, nobody mm, made you do that. Nobody forced you for it. You done it on yourself and only you can undo it. And mm, my advice would be not to stay there too long mm, because you can become mm, depressed and isolated from from the rest of the world and uh, so far you have absolutely no reason for it um. <clears throat> so we'll see three of wands uh, three of wands that's that's great that's great because um, you will come out of this you decide to open up um, and you will and you will see uh, the life ahead you will see the goals and achievements ahead uh, this card of um, possible uh, again education you might decide to that you want to go and study uh, or you might to go to higher education and you will know here which direction to take and what action to take, what needs to be done. Here you are ready, you are um, ready for it, you are focused on it. Uh, here you are basically on fire, you're not going to be um, waiting too long. You are ready and prepared for the action. This is, that card is to, you have... You have your goal and you know how to go for it, you know how to achieve it, you know what you want, you you can see your target. You all can see your target. Maybe you're just waiting for the right moment at it. Ooh. Um so cards fell out. 
greatly. <laughs> okay, but it's a great reading for you guys so far. Very happy for you. You totally deserve it, especially at this is your month. Let's see. Oh, the chariot. Definitely. This is a high rank card. Yes, you are waiting for the right moment to start your journey. To, to move forward where you want to be, what you want to achieve. Um, nobody can st stop this, these horses. And you here, uh, not scared. So, this card is also a card for vacation, for um, holidays. Maybe you're gonna go on somewhere. Uh, also of relocation and moving, moving maybe house. So yes, whatever you, um, what fears you have here, uh, uncertainty, this all will go, will go away. You're gonna be quite active this month on the move, um, on the celebration mood as well. Uh, great reading. Again, very happy for you. And we'll see what the angels uh, would like to suggest. <laughs> Again, it's amazing how um, how universe talking to me uh, and how it reflects on your reading uh, because the angel says go for it uh, new beginning whatever you um, you decide go for it it's it's amazing <clears throat> your prayers and positive uh, expectations have been heard and answered We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. That's a great message. That's a great message. Um, with so many um, cards of <clears throat> moving forward in life, um, Getting new approach, new direction. That is just this reflects on our reading so much. I can't even tell you. Well, let's ask the nature oracle. What else? Ah. Another great message. Let love be your beacon. Yes. Uh, believe in love. Enjoy and let it drive you. Great messages for you. Again, Virgo. I wish you all a very happy birthday. Let your all biggest dreams and desires will come true and the better best scenarios will work out for you uh, thank you for watching please like subscribe and leave comments uh, or how the readings working out for you and i'll see you next time bye